and welcome back to the Stone and Cringe Show. This week, we don't have much for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back. Stone followed the Crane. Obviously, the Stone and Crane Show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk a little bit about March Madness, a little bit about F1, and see if anything else comes to mind. Yeah. Sure, we can find something. So starting off, let's take a peek at um, Kyle's terrible bracket. Yeah, no, terrible. No, bracket. my. Ter- no, yeah, we'll go with Kyle's terrible bracket. Let's go with my terrible bracket. <laughs> Just Kyle's amazing bracket. I mean. Xaga, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Baylor, kind of the big teams that screwed you. <laughs> Wisconsin, obviously. I guess those three. Because I could be the biggest not getting to the championship, losing against Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas. His Sweet 16. Yeah, it was rough, man. Lost it there. Damn Zags can't get it done, man. Damn Zags. Uh, you got Villanova, though. It's kind of your only saving grace at this point. Yeah, I don't really care about it. <laughs> <laughs> could, uh, At this point, as long as Duke or North Carolina don't win, I'm okay with it. Duke or North Carolina don't win. Okay. Yeah. Well, one of them, the bright side is one of them's going to be eliminated. This, yeah. you know, before they get hopefully, there. <laughs> hopefully it's Duke. <laughs> Speaking of Duke, I have Duke going all the way. Um, against Villanova, so it'll be. Uh-huh. I'd be happy if it was Duke versus Villanova in the championship game. Yeah. Because picking the final two in a 64-team field, um, I'd be proud of that. I would. Yeah. You know, I hope I hope it's that. Damn Wisconsin. Um, yeah, damn Wisconsin. <laughs> my whole East <clears throat> bracket's kind of fucked. Um, North Carolina. Right my mid my midwest bracket broke pretty quick. Yeah. I I only got Wisconsin. I had Wisconsin going to the final four. <laughs> mm, yeah, but other than that, I had Iowa winning two games. And the rest I got right. I got Miami beating Auburn. And then, you know, I got and then Kansas I got going against Wisconsin in the, in the mm. Sweet 16 or the Elite 8, I mean. But obviously, I had Wisconsin winning. Um, nobody else really hurt me too bad. Well, Arkansas did. Somehow, I had Arkansas losing to Vermont. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's crazy. So, one of those random upsets I threw in there. You must have been eating maple syrup when you Dude, picked that one. You gotta, you gotta throw some upsets in there. Yeah. Cause look at St. Peter's, like you never know. I mean, yeah. I only had Kentucky winning two games anyway, so that wasn't a big loss. I had them losing to what would be Virginia Tech, but Virginia Tech also <laughs> lost mm-hmm. in the first round, so another upset that didn't work out for me. Also, Michigan upsetting. I don't like six seeds apparently, <laughs> cause. I had Michigan beating Colorado, Iowa State beating LSU. That one did work out for me. I had Notre Dame beating Alabama, and I had Virginia Tech beating Texas. I had every single six seed losing. <laughs> That's funny, man. Um, and I mean, I got two. I was two for four. I was fifty fifty on it. I got Notre Dame did beat Alabama, and Iowa State beat LSU. So, uh. <laughs> Yeah, that's not bad. Not a bad job saying screw the six seeds. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, mm-hmm. yeah. <sighs> we had 10 seed or 15. So amazing run by St. Peter's, though. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Great, man. Awesome to see they that. They just kind couldn't of stuff. get it started at North Carolina game, man. They, yeah, they, they basically tied them in the second half, but they were already down by so many. Yeah, they put their rush into that, and then once that empty the gas tank doing that, and after that point, it's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. 
Also, I had Houston beat in Arizona. That was a good pick. Yeah, that's. Yeah, because I, I definitely I had and Illinois Miami beating Auburn. I had Illinois going all the way there until what sixteen, I think. So or eight, maybe I can't remember. Yeah, 16. you. Yeah, eight. I essentially picked all the Midwest teams. Yeah, Got a Big Ten, Big except Twelve, for, except for Michigan State, because fuck Michigan State. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had Marquette going far too. <clears throat> yeah, I knew Marquette. North Carolina. Oh yeah, I had no, no, you I had... no, I had Baylor beating Marquette. Yeah. But mm. I did win my bracket at work. And that bracket I had North Carolina going I think to the final f- uh Elite Eight. I don't think I had them beating I think I had Purdue instead of North Carolina. So it was mm. a pretty good pick. Actually didn't do too bad at that one. I had completely different. Well, yeah, if I had do more than one, you can just change your bracket and that way, you know. Um this I think this bracket did better though, overall. Um but still. Yeah. That's crazy. It's always so hard to predict, man. Oh it is. I mean you just Yeah. It's fun though. It's fun watching it. It's fun games. Yeah, college basketball at its best. I heard yeah. somebody, you know, people were saying that NBA should be the same way in terms of being at one game and done. And uh, basketball is such a hot and cold game that if you do it that way, the best team's never gonna win. You know, or <clears throat> very rarely would the best team win. In a one, oh, in a one game match, I think the best team would win more often than the worst team would win. I think I at know. the end of the day, if you looked at the stats of it, I think the best team is always going to win more often than the worst team if it's a one and done. No, if that was, if that was no, the I case, think then the best teams wouldn't win overall through the whole season all the time. It just it doesn't make any sense. Better teams win against win against worse teams more often. Yeah. But the so to, but the hot game playoff, happens. I mean, if you were to have a playoffs, the best team is more than likely, and if it's only if it's a one and done game, more than likely, yeah, you're going to have a percentage of good teams losing, right? But you're still mm-hmm. going to have more. The high it's going to be it's going to be a higher percentage of the better teams winning the championship at the end of the day. Like the higher seed teams are going to win those games more often than not. I don't. I don't think it'd be good for the NBA to go to one game. I think it's no. with when you get teams that are at that level. You know, it's. You know, I think every series is. You know, I, it should be a seven game series. So, because that's the, I feel like that's the best way to go. This is the first one to win four games, and that's just I feel like that's a better that's a better system, but. Mm-hmm. There, I mean, the playoffs the way to be a playoffs now is weird. That because, like, the eighth seed, what? Even if the eighth seed, you do all that work to get the eighth seed, you could still potentially not even make the playoffs, right? Because you'd have to play one of those the lower seed teams that wins their like round playoff. Yeah, they do. They do the one off games for the uh, the play in tournament kind of deal. Yeah. They did. They take the the seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, the seven and eight. I don't like that. Yeah, it's weird, different. So the seven and eight seed face each other to see who gets yeah. the seven seed, basically, and then the nine and ten seed face off to who see goes on to face what will be the eight seed spot. You know. Yeah. So the loser of the seven and eight seeds faces the winner of the nine and ten to see who gets that eighth seed. This just your record. Yeah, the better that's... record, and then you're in the playoffs. Because <laughs> they just wanted more, more. <laughs> I'm not sure what the thinking was. I don't. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't. It, I mean, it is what it is. It's. Totally. I'm not. I don't really care for it. I mean, if you're the seven, eight, nine, ten seed, that your odds are. 
Your odds aren't great anyways, so. I, I don't think it plays that big of a factor. Because <clears throat> one and two seeds in the NBA are rarely ever, they rarely ever lose in the first round. Yeah. I mean, it happens, well, I mean, and it's happened before, but it's. Yeah, it just doesn't. When I get, and I get that, and that's. So. This goes back to that percentage stuff, but it's still just, it's just the way they set up it. It just means like, what's the point of trying hard through the whole season that if you possibly could just lose your position, like if you're battling for that seed anyway. So it's just, it's like, well, I can just make 10th seed and still at least get to a one game playoff and potentially maybe you know, but, potentially. I mean, that's still not. Yeah. No. It's like rewarding bad play. It's weird. I don't know. It's a weird system. It is. It's weird. Like that. It's, it's, I don't know. Yeah. I don't watch much of it anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> no. I mean, I guess in the East, all the top 10 teams all have winning records. I mean, they're all above 500. Even 10th seed Atlanta has a 500. Or one game above 500. The West is a different story, but... Yeah. No, it's definitely different. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> definitely weird. I'm not sure how they... I don't... I think where it came from is they were pushing... Adam Silver's been pushing for like a, a mid season tournament forever. And I think that was the compromise. Mid season tournament? Mm-hmm. What would we do for that? No idea. No idea. Just... It was just to uh, be rewarded the another championship. Or another like a mid season championship thing. Weird. Yeah. I don't know, it's I'm sure there's some articles about it, but Huh. Okay, about basketball. Let's get some F1. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Max Verstappen finally winning. Took him long <laughs> enough. God damn. <laughs> Full two races to see him win. Yeah. Where were you was... at? No, I'm joking. Um. <laughs> That's good, man. That was a good race. Just one race. Watch. I. Still, I agree with a lot of the the drivers, man. I know it's, uh, they didn't want to race it. The track's dangerous. It's it's uh, I don't know. <laughs> the need it's, for it's, speed. It was a fun track to watch. But yeah, it was some good passing. Yeah. Red Bull absolutely fucked Perez, though. I'll tell you that much. I don't know yeah. why. You got essentially the the. I mean, there's a good case that you can make Perez out to be the the best person at saving his tires between the entire field. Yeah. And yet you pit him early? Yeah. Like yeah, why are you pitting you, him? You like the tire he was on, they pit it on lap thirteen. They can go just about tw- you know, Perez could probably make that tire last twenty laps. So even if they tr- you know, if Leclerc Saint goes in for an early undercut, you can almost just erase that by just staying out longer instead yeah. of responding right away, especially with Perez. Yeah, especially yeah, well, with Perez, dude. He, you had the lead, and so... especially since you knew you weren't going to get out in front of Russell. Yeah. Because they put push him, put him behind Russell, basically. And Yeah. I mean, I could have... It'd been a better call. I, you know, it'd been an all right call. I think if Russell wasn't there, if they would, if he would have been basically behind Saints or Verset, whoever was in fourth, basically at the time. Yeah, I can't remember exactly how. Well, the... But yeah. But no, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think it was Saints. I think it was one, three, two, four. But nonetheless, it's a good race. Verstappen fought hard and. I mean, mm-hmm. deservingly one. I mean, to be able to get the pass off. Yeah, that definitely was crazy. Last, the win. The last, yeah. Leclerc was awesome. I mean, yeah. And the respect between those two guys is awesome to see. 
between yeah there was um Charles <clears> there was a couple of times there where they you you mean you talk was it like last year with some of the aggressive driving where you can kind of seen the i'm almost maybe it was like the maturity of verstappen backing off a little because there were some times where he usually would have just pushed it and tried to push harder to get some of them in those turns and he, he backed off a couple of times which <laughs> You know, he did. He well, if it was Hamilton, one. he would have totally just sent him in the wall. So yeah, I, I that's mean, that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> would it would it have been different if it was Hamilton? Would he have uh, felt the pressure and stuff? I don't know. I mean, it's it's hard to tell. But with Leclerc being up there, and it's he passed him that one time. Leclerc immediately passed him right back up. You know, and yeah, I think that's... after that, kind of realized that he's got to be more patient and understanding. And then they both locked up on that one turn, and that was because of that DRS. Intense. Yeah. the drs zone trying to get trying to get that drs so you wanted yeah he went one he went one corner too early he should have waited and then like he did later when he got the final pass or stop yeah he waited until that same corner that leclerc repassed him on and stuff and, mm-hmm. but this no, was a really fun race man i like seeing those guys up there russell's been pretty consistent you know, I've been, I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I'm not surprised him in that car being as, as racing as good as he was because of the couple of times that he stepped up before he raced well in those cars. So I am yeah. <clears throat> a little bit more shocked about the way Hamilton has been driving. I don't know if it's, it's gotta be, a, that car has gotta be struggling. It's yeah. Just, they just I don't mean, have the pace, right? It's Yeah, they're definitely the third best car. And I mean, Haas... I mean, if Haas had two good drivers, obviously with everything that happened to Schumacher in yeah. qualifying, he wasn't racing. But Magnussen <laughs> has been putting it on a show. Yeah, Magnussen's already got 12 points. I mean, that's, that's great. That's 12 more points than Haas scored last year. <laughs> right. I mean, that's just so, amazing, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, he's racing I'm great out there, man. I and mean, he's got more points than Bottas. Yeah, and they had a... They ran the. That's another reason why Lewis Hamilton did score. Is the the strategy that the, him and Magnuson were both on, you know, with that late caution or that early that early caution. Sorry, is screwed him. So, yeah, that was kind of, you know, kind of that just. So for him to still get ninth, I believe, was it ninth or, yeah, it was yeah. ninth because Hamilton yeah, got tenth. Yeah. Um, was awesome. I mean, I guess there was like five, five cars that got taken out in that race. Yeah, who would have been the DNFs? Yeah, yeah. Well, not wait more. One, well, because Schumacher didn't start. Schumacher right, didn't so. start. Sonoto technically didn't start. Yeah, and, and then uh, Ricardo got out. Latifi um, went out. Yeah, Latifi Ricardo went and out, Alonso and went out on the Alonso same lap in the pit lane. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, all and um, Bottas, Bottas and retired as well. Yeah. That same that same lap too. <laughs> yeah, then Albon went out at the end of the race too. So Did he? he spun out or whatever, and towards the end there. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of DNFs there. Time for. Uh, Lance Stroll to get a new hobby. Yeah, that car, that's another one of those cars that have struggling, dude. Because you know, Vettel year. hasn't Vettel's been sick, so yeah, I mean, he's, he's vid. and he's kind of the guy you would kind of peg to see where that car is at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, I mean, Hulkenberg's doing the best he can, but Hulkenberg isn't a very good yeah. driver. So, um, pretty pumped to see. Uh, I thought I think that <clears throat> that uh, Zhou Ganyu or Ganyu Zhou, however you want to pronounce it, is racing. <laughs> Dude, getting well, back to back eleventh sucks, man. Because it's just like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good, and you know, it's you know, and sure, you know, he he honestly he didn't have that great of a race. He definitely you know got bumped because of a lot of those DNFs, but still, <laughs> uh I like well, to see. Tenth, he got tenth the week before. Oh, did he get tenth? I thought so, he got yeah, he got tenth the week 11th. before. Yeah. Okay. I think he's got a point already. Yeah, he's got one point. Yeah. He got a point. He's got one, man. 
One's better than none. But it's, it's more than <laughs> some of those other guys got their first year. Yeah, so. that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, it sucked to see Alonzo go out that way. Man, he was he was racing a good race, and to have his car just stop on him like that. So, word. What's up? Hold on, here. I'm trying to figure this out. You, I believe in you. I'm trying to follow where Gasly ended up at was eighth, eighth. place. Yeah. yeah. And Norris seventh, which is honestly. It's a win. That's, That's a, a win. win. Yeah. That's a big win from the week prior. Oh yeah. You can't really argue much with that. That you know, <laughs> comparing to where they were at, you know. So. Mhm. Yeah, it's a big. It's a big win. That's about Akon, man. With the six plate finish, was pretty pretty cool. Yeah, too. Alpine. I mean, Alpine's one of those. You know is. is one of the companies that are kind of out on their own, right? Yeah. Or they got their own their own engine supplier, right? Right now. Yeah, I believe, I believe so, yeah. Where yeah. everybody else has either got the Red Bull package or the Ferrari package or the Mercedes package. Yeah. And obviously the Mercedes package has been the worst because those have been the worst teams. You know, Williams, Austin Martin, and then obviously Mercedes itself. Yeah, and true. McLaren is also Mercedes. So... They've all str- – obviously, that's Struggled. the biggest thing. And Haas being Ferrari is a big reason why they've been doing so well. And then uh, Alphatari is actually with Red Bull. So, and then yeah, Renault's just their own. So I feel like it's harder for them because they have less data on, <laughs> on their engine, right? Or their yeah. – you know, their – not seeing as many results with their power unit, you know, that they could as versus, you know, Ferrari and Mercedes and also Red Bull. It's something to think of. I mean, it's everything's connected some way or form. You know, I'm not saying all these teams are one team, you know, yeah, Haas yeah, and yeah, Ferrari are definitely two, definitely not. two yeah. different teams. They're just running the same engine. Yeah. You know, they got completely different. I mean, I'd say Red Bull and um, and uh, hey, give me right gun. Whoa, Alpha Tari, right are probably the two closest teams together. Mm-hmm. I mean, there was one point they were both named Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. so you basically had four Red Bulls out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change that to uh, our clothing line there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> to, uh, Make it change, less obvious. Even change this up a little bit. Definitely. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, we'll see, man. It's a couple weeks. What, a week off, right? Two weeks off, and then we got uh, Australia. Yeah. We got Australia. <clears throat> not this weekend, but next weekend. Yeah, yeah, that should be fun, man. We'll see. Hopefully, they can keep it going. I, was, I can't remember. I was reading. They know that a couple teams made some changes already. Danny Ricardo's going to get his first points finish. Yeah, we'll see, He's man. He's at home. He's got to. <laughs> he just has to. That's, yeah. He has to. My Maybe boy. He can do something out. <laughs> My poor, poor boy. <laughs> Pull something out. That'd be nice, man. Like should have stayed. At, he he would. He was never gonna be able to stay at Red Bull, man. It's just. Yeah. It's because these top teams like they pretty much have to have a number one driver, right? Yeah, I feel based like on the, strategy. Yes, it's. I know they say that they don't have them. Right, like but all it, like Ferrari yes. and on Red Bull and Mercedes, yeah. they don't. No, but you, they all you do. Clearly, see on each team who their number one driver is. Yeah, right? at least for the top the way three, three teams. At least, you know the three teams I just mentioned, basically. I even think you could go with all of them, right? I mean, not yeah. all, maybe not all of them, but not you all of them. Essentially, see who who they want. I mean, okay, they're they might some of them might be an equal, but there's a guy that they're 
Like Alpha Romeo is definitely going with Bartes. Yes. Know. Yeah. Just you know, and Alpha Tari is going with Gasly. Yeah, yeah. Sonoda's so, good, a little younger. So you're gonna always. I feel like you're gonna go with the more experienced, probably the in what you would consider. Yeah, they're the gonna, if there's driver. a part that's slightly better, but they can't give it to both cars, they're gonna give it to that guy, right? Maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> so with McLaren, I think they go Norris, right? Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. You know, as good as Ricardo has been in his career, and you know, even <laughs> even me. saying that, you know, and even I think. I think Norris probably finished above Ricardo last year. I think Ricardo was yes. still a better driver last year. I just again with pushing who you got to push. You can, it's you got to put. You know, there's one guy really. Yeah, well, I think at times you could see there's and there's points right. These guys, these these teams have to think of construction cup points right and yeah. where they sit at at the end of the, at the end of the season. So if you're yeah, thinking, you saw, oh, this guy's faster today. <clears throat> and he's a fast track. Hakon and Alonso yeah. kind of went at it this last race, too, if you saw that part. No, I didn't um, see that. I might have been in the outside. It was it was early race. It was like it's like eight laps in or something. Oh yeah. See I missed I missed the I missed the, the first yeah. start of the race. I saw I saw the bubbles <laughs> racing against each other. That's how I watched it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so but and I listened to I still listen to the commentating. I just couldn't watch the actual race. I'm broke, so and I don't know the cheaty ways around. <laughs> so I watch little colorful balls go around a the track. There you go. Yeah, it was um. <clears throat> I watched it on Nick's. I watched it. I was at Nick's house. So I watched it there, but I was outside. I can't remember what I was doing. I was doing something outside, and then I came back. And when I came back inside, throwing I turned those, off. You were throwing those horseshoes, weren't you? Oh, I wish, man. It was cold, <laughs> dude. Fired that grill up, man. It was cold, though. I was like, I'm firing this grill no matter what. I got to smell it. We're good. <laughs> yeah, you know, put some brats on the grill, man. 36 oh, yeah. degrees isn't going to stop me. It's cooking weather. But, yeah, definitely normally a number one driver. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's. I feel like it's. It's a smart way to go too. I feel like if you're gonna have a team and you need somebody to do something, because like, <clears throat> you know, like last year, like Mercedes won the championship last year, but everybody remembers who won the drivers. You know, yeah. they think of Red Bull. So, yeah. it's it's definitely I feel like more beneficial for uh, for a team. Yeah, you to you push want your guy driver. to. Yeah, you want your one guy to win the championship, right? Because that's where all the glory is at. The Constructor Cup is like, that's something that now, you know, Patronas can put in their trophy case and, and the, wherever they make Mercedes cars at, right? And they can <clears throat> walk into their offices and they can have a Constructor Cup, right? So, yeah. Or I bet Total Wolf has those in his closet or something. <laughs> <laughs> so. He probably uses last year's as like a cigarette tray or something. I'm sure he might. He might just be pissed off at it. Well, he's got like 15 of them, right? So he can do whatever he wants with them. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but anyway, yeah. I mean, it's just my else. It's a smart way to go. I mean, I think. Uh, I mean, I don't know. So far, these first two races have been fun, man. They've been fun races. I think I'd give them both like four out of five stars for like fun to watch. You know, I, I think the new cars are fun, and I'm yeah. enjoying them. There's so. enough. There's more <clears throat> passing. Which is... Yeah, I, uh, I've enjoyed the middle game with all those other teams that are, yep. might not be in first. Still, would like to see the teams figure out their problems so they can get closer. Yeah, you know, those once once those problems get ironed out, I think we'll see Mercedes in that hunt, and then we'll, then we'll see some really cool shit, right? Uh huh. Because right now we're we're kind of dealing with a little bit like we were last year with those those two top cars kind of battling each other, and everybody else is kind of playing that game but once i think halfway through the year man we'll start seeing some really yeah. fun sh next year is gonna be awesome so, you think so i think so man Cause yeah once because this year they'll, they'll use this whole yeah. year to iron out all their problems right, right. and ferrari just i mean ferrari deserves everything they've gotten so yeah. far to be able it's to smart. you know have figured the car out you know this yeah. prematurely basically and been that far ahead of every. Pretty much everybody else. Red Bull, I mean, is right there just 
So I think the only reason why Verstappen won potentially is just maybe it's better game plan, better driving, whatever it was. It's just timing, right? It then just worked. And I think the the, the car, Leclerc's car was still faster. He had the fastest lap. Yeah, you know I mean? it was just I think at that time. I think they're and pretty then close. DRS. You know, and in and if both the Red Bull guys would have finished the first race, the points would be really close. Yeah. You know, obviously Ferrari's 40 points or 41 points ahead of Red Bull. Mercedes is actually second right now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Long season. Only two races in. Yeah, I got a long way to go. We got Australia next day. Should be fun. Yeah, be fun, dude. <clears throat> It'll just be warm there for them, but hopefully those tires will hold up. I know they're having problems in Saudi Arabia already, so we'll see how they hold up in Australia. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's why I've heard is it's going to be hard for a lot of teams to finish under that salary cap this year. Yeah, I just don't want to see. I, I don't, it's going to be they're going to be struggling. I was just watching something earlier. It's one of the I can't somebody. I think it was Red Bull just dropped two million on something. So I don't know if it was for the, it was like a new body. I think it was something to help with that porpoising a little bit more. Yeah, so, Mercedes <clears throat> had a completely different tail of the car at this race yeah. versus the first race. But that was already in the thing, though, right? That was something they just changed out. The tail was already in their in their was stock it? or whatever they call it. I think, oh, yeah. I think that's yeah. So I think there's set amount of parts or something like that they can replace. I have to relook at the rules, dude. The rules are so. I'm not a drone, man. I can't read that shit. <laughs> I have to read it like five times before I understand what it means. <clears throat> so, because so I know that was um, Alonzo's car. That was they just like replaced his whole engine, but his engine was in the stock or whatever for him to do it. So you have to take a penalty or anything. Yeah. Man, they're coming to Miami in May, first weekend of May. That we. Two to Miami, huh? Yeah. That'll be the first race there. That's cool. Good for the U.S., man, getting them here. Interesting track. So that way they're twice, man. That's cool looking track. Yeah, it is. That's a long straightaway there. Yeah, it is. That's going to be some high speeds. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, that's really... That's 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 gonna be insane. Which way does it flow? Oh, okay, I see. So, it. yeah, we go to sixteen to seventeen here. I yep, see yep. With the finish, <clears throat> start finishing at like a middle gap. There's like I, I possibly pull. what like three DR zones. Looks like potentially. Well, can, I don't know how big. Oh yeah, they don't have it on this because they haven't ran ran it before. Yeah, I don't know if if you click on the other maps that they ran before, it'll show you. It'll like show the you DR zones. It'll even have you run like auto laps and 360 views of you're not even gonna need drs on <laughs> on the back straight there <laughs> so i'm guessing it'll probably be like turn 10 um and probably around in that area you'll probably like turn nine or something they'll probably be like drs somewhere around in there and then probably going around 15 right 15 16 they'll have drs again and you mean the drs line to like yeah so like who gets it down. in this coming yeah. up turn? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It'll like come up right around it. Have to be it. That's the only ones that'll make sense because you can't put it at the finish line, right? So I don't see them doing it at like around the 17 area. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Um, cool, Miami. Honestly, um, I do accept. I do accept. I do expect. I mean, it's the first race. The probably going to be some flaws in the track, as yeah. in, like there's going to be some boring areas, maybe or something. What but, what race is there now? Does does Indy race there? Or? It was. It's a temporary circuit, so. Oh, it's temp. Okay. Um. Set in the Hard Rock Stadium complex, next to the <clears throat> Miami Dolphins. Cool. So it's in there, kind of around, around there. I want to look at this, see if they have like a set up Miami Grand Prix 2023. 
22. What if they've got like a like an actual map of it? Yeah, that's gonna be fun, dude. No, something I get more here, man. I think I think if you get more F one here in America, dude, to help oh, yeah. make it. More yeah, the football stadium is right in the middle of that of the track, basically. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like between that front stretch, that first stretch by the checkered flag, and and between like four. It's in that between like 19, oh, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, in that square there. Yeah, that square, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it runs through basically the parking lot. Looks like a road that's outside mm -hmm. of it. That's what that very long straight is. It's a road. So. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, hopefully it's safe, you know, with stuff like that. Put up enough barriers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I wonder where they're going to park, considering that is the parking lot. <laughs> I'm sure they have it all figured out, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. No, it looks... Okay, here's... Oh. Okay, there's like a map or like a picture here I see that they got of them like building it. Like mid-construction. It looks cool. All right, cool. I'm excited. F1's exciting, man. Yeah, I love it, dude. I <clears throat> fucking NASCAR just raced the race at a uh, at a track. <sighs> it's and it's got like, some exciting stuff in it, but it's. I mean, they were talking about it. The race lasted longer than both of these first two. F1 races put together. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's super. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an endurance that. race, and that's kind of what NASCAR has been. Obviously, when you're going around with most of your tracks being circles, that's kind of, kind of the deal, yeah, right? At that point, it's got to be a endurance because if it's not, then there's, I don't know what you're doing. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I think they should cut down on their on their um, road tracks in terms of the amount of laps they do or the amount of time it takes them to race them. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty... I mean, that and the racing is kind of crazy. Joke. I mean, you could just watch the last lap. There's basically three guys in it to win it, and they basically... I mean, I'm not saying this doesn't happen in F1, but they basically all run each other off the track. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just... It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's one of the only reasons why I've never really <clears throat> got in an ass car, man. It's just to, I'm not. Those cars, not though, the, the amount of control you need, they're mm -hmm. not made for, you know, road road tracks because yeah. they have, no, like, compared not. to F1 cars, they have basically zero downforce and just yeah. as much power. <laughs> yeah, it's just straight so... power. That's because well, they're, they're built for circles, right? They're not. Yeah. They're, they're not built to be power and turning speed. at 110 miles an hour. And no, shit. they don't. They don't. They can't make those kind of turns. No. You know, it's like the, in, you know, it's like Indy cars versus F1 cars, you know. Yeah. People don't know that, you know, yes, like if you compare them racing at like Indianapolis, which is a big, you know, Indy circuit. Yes, the Indy cars going to go around the, uh, around the track a lot faster than F1 car. You put... You put like an indie car at this Miami, even with that long strip there, versus F one car. I guarantee you, F one car goes goes around the track faster. Yeah. So yeah, they're just they're just built different. The indie has got a bunch of weird turns and corkscrew type turns, and where like the the that'll drop in elevation and stuff. And indie can get away with those elevation drops, where like F one can't. Like going around a turn and dropping the elevation in the track. Because uh, uh, Grosjean was just talking about that, you know, when he switched over, getting used to that. Like, taking a turn and not being able to, like, see the turn and things like that. Where, like, because the car is just an F1 because the their length of the body and, like, the way that the car is just doesn't – they don't handle the tracks the same way Indy does, right? So, they're, I mean, they're, both cars are insanely fast, but on those top speeds, man, it's – Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he?
Um, it's not what I wanted. Where's standings for? I was trying to look up standings for Indy. I have to. I don't even know where to begin. Trying to see where Grosjean was at. Because I know he had a good... I think the first race of the year, he had a good finish. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This is not the right spot to look. <laughs> so this is... Oh, here we go. Tenth? <clears throat> He's 10th. What happened? He have a bad second race? He had to have. Stats. Two. Yeah, he has two races. What does RAF mean? Running at finish. Oh, so yeah, he must have. Because he got top five his first race of the year. He also had the pole, I believe. And it doesn't look like he finished his second race. Mm -hmm. Unless it DNF'd. Okay, so he's 10th. Because I know, I saw that he was raced, he only raced, um, well, I think he raced one oval, but he raced, I think, all basically all of his other races he raced on tracks last year. Or those poles from last year. But still, top five, first race of the year. Andretti, Andretti's trying to get an F1 team in. You see that at the beginning of the year? Yeah. I, I, I'm open to having, going back to 11 teams. I, I don't see. <clears throat> I don't see why not. At, the, at this point, it's not, I don't think it'll hurt anything. I don't think it'll be too many drivers in the track. No, I, 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 don't, I don't think, I think all the, all the tracks can accommodate 11 teams. I'm pretty sure. I mean, F1 mm -hmm. had, has had. Had 11 teams just like five five or six years ago it was or something like that where they were running yeah. 11 teams. It wasn't that long ago before a team opted out. I don't even remember which team, but. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't think I was paying that much attention back then, so. Yeah, I mean, it could. It'd be fun. I think getting some more different people in there would be interesting. I think I've talked about it before. I think getting like a having like American car company compete would be kind of interesting just to see what they could do with it would be fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. Interesting to see. Uh, I know he had talked about having an American racing for him um, and ready did. That'd be cool. Yeah. Cause I think it'd be interesting to have just, you know, cause I think that's part of the problem too. With why, I mean, I think it's popular in America. I mean, it's, I mean, ESPN puts it on, right? So yeah. it's got enough steam that it gets enough love in this country. and People like it enough, right? But compared to NASCAR, right, it's not. So which is goes back to one of those things that NASCAR has such a rich history in this country. It's hard to – you're never going to take that love away from – the fan base of nascar like, no that's why it's so so it's so insane those people hundred thousand deep at some of those places man just it's crazy how many people still like nascar it's like why yeah. but no yeah. no it's not that bad i mean it's i, mean, I, I like i've always said I've it's yeah it has its appeals um i do, I respect and I do the enjoy drivers. watching I respect the engineering i respect what it goes to like to do it and stuff but yeah, the worst you part know. about NASCAR is its fans, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 100%, 100%, that's the worst thing about Star Wars, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Just like FromSoft fans. Oh, yeah, God. Fans of FromSoft fans. The worst. I like Rick and Morty fans, too. <laughs> Rick and Morty like Rick fans Mo are like, bad. Like Rick and Morty, don't like the fan base. Uh <sighs> You're not smart because you watch Rick and Morty, man. <laughs> uh, you're just as dumb as the SpongeBob people. Yeah, I think that's all I got for F1, man. Anything else interesting in your world? 
Oh. That. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> um. Talk a little bit about Bruce Willis if you want. Sure, let me do that. He's got some amazing stuff, amazing history of films. And it sounds like he may be done, done with filming. Do <clears throat> do. Pretty serious health condition, honestly. I don't know how. How do you say that? Aphasia. What it sounds like, it sounds like it was like a stroke or something, or it's it can be. Yeah, aphasia is a condition that robs you of the ability to communicate. It can be caused mm. by stroke, head injury, brain tumor, or disease. Yeah, so. That's rough, aphasia. man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the dude is. I mean. God, I don't, you know, I know that people knock a lot of his last, however, however many movies you want to say that he's done in the last 10 years and how many of them have been good, but he, uh, he's made a lot of movies, man. 144 credits to his thing, according to IMDb. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff, man. No, oh, there was some TV stuff back in the day, right? That he was in, and is he in some? <laughs> He's in some bad movies. Yeah, they're all like yeah. direct to video. Yeah, yeah. The last, the last, like I mean, five early years. In his career, he he was into some direct to video, and then he caught some fame, you know. But Die Hard, and there's some other good ones. I mean, um. Unbreakable. <sighs> I mean, he, well, dude, I mean, he's been in, arguably been in like, like a, if you were to put like a top 20 of my top 20 favorite movies, he's in three of them. You know, I mean, like maybe boys. more. I mean, I'd have to really hash out that top 20 list, but... G.I. Joe, some of them... Yes, yeah, so you, you go four. Because I forgot about... You got... So... Die Hard is... Die Hard? One of my, yeah, Die Hard's one of my favorite movies ever made, period. Best it's, Christmas movie ever. Best Christmas movie ever. It's got one of... It's one of the best, like, action... Act, like, hero performances ever coming from a guy who wasn't an action hero he was like a drama guy you know came from like a love story kind of background and then went on to do that and then <clears throat> oh, the fifth element which is like my favorite movie ever i love the fifth element dude i could watch the movie every day and never get sick of it um one day i'll watch it yeah it's so good dude <laughs> and then you like you said it um sin city is he's amazing in that uh he's also in a movie called lucky number 11 i don't know if you've ever seen that or not um but that, that movie is fantastic whole nine yards i've watched that one yeah only whole nine yards whole <laughs> it's funny yards. it's not a <laughs> but he's in his he's in a bunch of stuff dude oh man, man i didn't even good, know there man. was a whole 10 yards it's the yeah, same people or just, just yeah him? same people it's, it's oh, same okay. people it's a sequel it's got what's his name in it yep from friends really like him you know, pulp fiction man dude he's, he's, yeah, yeah for a short bit right they are short die hard with the vengeance he was not one second one of four rooms 12 monkeys is fantastic the jackals he is like, like yeah dude. his last like three four years i mean like if you think of those Atypical like action movies that are just action you movies to be action that. movies. That's what they are. I think I think about ten years ago, dude, maybe longer, twelve years ago, is when he started just kind of saying, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna take a paycheck and <clears throat> you're gonna pay me to do whatever the fuck you want to pay me to do, and I'm just gonna do it for the money." 
Yeah. And we'll, we'll just pump shit out because I don't think he's made anything that's been like great. Other than sequel stuff, time. like he did Glass in 2019, which I like that movie, but I mean, that was. And then the rest, yeah, it... like, other than that one, but, you know, again, that was a sequel movie. The last good one. Price Sin City in 2014. The remake, the, the sequel to Sin City. Yeah. yeah that movie was. Yeah, that movie wasn't even. Yeah, it was. That was, um, it was okay. It was, you know, it wasn't. I wouldn't say it was bad or anything, but Super. his remake of Death Wish was okay. You know. Yeah. It was no Bronson, but he he did. You know, it was it was, it was fine. Um, but some of these I haven't even seen, man. It's almost like I just I'm. I want to keep him the way that I like him, and that's the '90s action star, you know, that I remember him as and shit. You know, well, mid 2000s and '90s action. Hero. What are you talking about? All these are action films. I know, <laughs> but like, you watch them now, though. It's like he's just not the same. You know what I mean? Nah, he's older. He, I mean, he's. How old is he? I don't even know. 60-something, I think. He's 67. Seven, yeah. So. Yeah, it's... It's crazy, dude. He's... You know, I hope he's healthy enough to live out a long rest of his life and be happy with it, man, what, he, what he's done for like movie history because he's <clears throat> he's definitely <clears throat> like a legend you know what i mean like, oh yeah. yeah he's he's one of the legends man you know people notoriously hard to work with or whatever he's an asshole and all this other stuff he's man you can't everyone knows who bruce willis is man mm-hmm he, he's got it he's got at least one movie that you like there's got to, you know what I mean. There's got to be a movie, a Bruce Willis movie that you like. There's mm-hmm. one of them. I'm sure there's some asshole out there that hates everything he does, but. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Did you uh, <clears throat> off subject a little bit? Did you see that uh, Samuel L. Jackson finally got recognized from the Shahed Oscars? Yeah, did he? Yeah, he finally got like a, like some form of like lifetime achievement award. He's never won like an Oscar for a role, which is crazy. All right. Because he, I think he was up for one for Pulp Fiction and didn't win. <clears throat> but uh, probably I see see that. Yeah, they recognized him and stuff. Unfortunately, we no one's talking about that because they're talking about fucking Will Smith. So. He's been, he, I mean, he's won his a lot of awards, but yeah, Academy Award. Yeah, he was nominated for pop. Yeah, this is only the second time he's been at least nominated in terms of Academy Awards. Yeah, and he he did he did win. He got the honorary Academy Award this time. Yeah, but yeah, 1990 Best Supporting Actor, Pop Fiction, he's nominated for, but didn't win. He's won, or he's been nominated for Global Go- Global uh, Golden Globe Awards, but never yeah. won. Screen Actors Guild Awards, another big one. I mean, Independent Spirit Awards is, I guess, okay. BAFTA Awards. Yeah, yeah. He's, I mean, he's won his fair share of other ones, but sure. Yeah, yeah. I know. <clears throat> And then a ton of other stuff. Mm-hmm. They can talk about another legend. I mean, him and Bruce Willis. I mean, Die Hard with a Vengeance is, is a great movie, man. And them two together in it. It's fucking hilarious. So Two different like, polar personalities yelling at each other the whole time is pretty good. Yeah. It's a good movie, man. It's another classic. Classic movie. His, um... For him, though, I mean, for for me, my my two favorite I think performances from for Jackson man have to be like, I mean, Pulp Fiction for sure, right? And then 
fucking Django, man. He was so good in that movie. Yeah. He's good as Fury too, right? But Yeah, he, I mean, he is Fury at this point. Yeah. But just trying to look. His performances. Yeah, he has a lot of good movies. Yeah, he's in so many good movies, dude. Uh, so many good movies, man. Dude, when he when he dies and he has a tombstone and it should not say his name. All it should say is motherfucker and motherfucker. Everyone man. would just know. <laughs> yeah. That's, just just big shit, too. <laughs> Just massive. Just this motherfucker. Giant plaque that says motherfucker on it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, that that part. Oh man. Dude, when they when they paired up <clears throat> him and fucking Ryan Reynolds for uh what is it called? It's a Hitman's Bodyguard, right? Yeah, Hitman's it? Bodyguard. <clears throat> and <laughs> that scene where Ryan Reynolds is just going off <laughs> on him is about him. I mean, at least when he's at like the mm-hmm. taco stand or something. I haven't um, seen the movie in a while. I have to rewatch it because I know they made the sequel or whatever. I haven't seen the sequel yet. Yeah, I haven't either. But it's good. It's funny. It really embodies him. Um, but yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Television. He does a lot of television. A lot more than I realize. I mean, they're not he, he big roles or anything, but he does a lot of stuff. Theater video games, I would assume he's in a lot of video games. Nick Fury, yeah, he's not in too many, I guess. Mace Windu, oh yeah. (coughs) They've been talking about him reprising his role as uh, Mace Windu in like... um, it, if it would happen, it would probably happen in in either a Soko series or maybe Obi Wan series. I don't. I think there would be hype around it if he was in Obi Wan for this first season that's coming out. So I doubt. So I don't think he's in in it or <clears throat> gonna be in it all that or something? soon. But what? So like he lived through it or something? Yeah, live falling out that. Well, which, I mean, well. The Emperor can live getting thrown down that fucking shaft and the Death Star exploding. Mace Window can live, live yeah, falling yeah. out of building. Yeah. <laughs> Unless the motherfucker's head is chopped off, man. Ain't nobody dead. Yeah, you gotta go Highlander with that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, chop his head off, dude. You Oh, you haven't watched um, that Bad Boys animated series yet, have you? Oh, you're talking about uh, The Boys? No, yeah, not bad boys. Sorry, just boys. The boys. I was like, they made a bad boys animated series. I'm in, dude. Right? Oh, you hold it out on me, man. No, just the boys. My bad. Uh, no, no, I haven't watched it. I, uh, uh, yeah. The only thing I knew I've watched recently was an old um, Bradley Cooper movie made in like 2015 called Burnt. 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 Is that a chef movie or no? Yeah, it's a chef movie. Yeah, I like that movie. It was good, dude. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah, I was um I liked it, man. I liked it a lot, so I feel like he was just meant to play an alcoholic asshole in yeah. every movie, yeah. man. Like so. those are his best movies. Other than American Sniper, like yeah. He is like yeah. in um what was that one that you did with Lady Gaga? Oh yeah, I won't watch uh, that. It was he his part though was amazing. Yeah, he's he's great, dude. I liked him in uh in the remake of the eighteen stuff, dude. He's yeah, he's no, he fit that great. pretty well. Anybody, anytime he's playing like a cock, dude, he needs to have an arrogant asshole. He's, he's yeah, like, basically man. right, arrogant asshole, man. He's it's his he's, face, he's, man. It's his face. <laughs> it's you know he's With probably the nicest dude you bitch, could, can get away with. It. Yeah, and he's probably one of the nicest guys you could meet. He's well, he's either he either really is an absolute asshole or he's like super fucking nice 
Yeah, I, mean, I bet he's super nice, dude. He probably I'm, is. I'm, like, I'm he does some. He's like the nicest guy ever. <laughs> probably. <clears throat> <sighs> I'd jeopardize it, dude. I usually don't the try to. Born, if I see celebrities, I don't. I don't ever be that guy to run up and meet them. But I'd probably run and meet Bradley Cooper. Dude, then you'd be just to see, just to see, dude. and then he'd be like a complete asshole to you. <laughs> yeah, like, my wife would too. Damn it! <laughs> see, that's why you can't meet your heroes. <laughs> yeah, Can never my meet wife, your heroes. My wife would like to meet my hero, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> well, I think storytelling is. Uh, a... <laughs> but damn, Bradley Cooper, handsome son of a bitch. Yeah, that's that's the main problem. He's yeah, fuck. way too fucking good looking. Yeah, way too good looking. Like in like like, just as Wikipedia, he's got like five different hairdos, and all of them, and all of them, he looks <sighs> <sighs> stunning. <laughs> this good looking guy, man, it sucks. Yeah, good, good looking long hair, good looking short hair, good looking weird weird guy hair. Yeah, dude, he's a good looking guy. I bet he's a nice dude too. This sucks. It makes it even worse. I feel better about myself if he was an asshole. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Does he have any like? He was in a movie called. What was that movie he was in, man? Um, oh, shit. Considering uh, he doesn't have like a, thi- oh. you, you know, usually those assholes always have like a section in their Wikipedia that's like, um, I don't know, like run. I don't know what to call it. I don't know who would have it. I'm trying. <laughs> Did you ever see Limitless? Limitless? With it with him in it. Made in two thousand eleven. Takes this like drug, makes him super smart. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's really good too, dude. Sadly it's <clears> not <throat> free anywhere to watch. So that's no, it used to be on Netflix for like a really long time and then it's not on there anymore. Usually, man, there's always <sighs> kinda of that's that's been my like that's the wall I've been hitting hard lately. Like every time I find a movie that I'm like, I could watch this. I go try to find, see if it's on anything. It's just not. It's yeah, like, it's just not. God damn it. Yeah, it sucks, dude. It's like there's 10 different goddamn f- fucking streaming services and none of them have any of the shit I want to watch. <laughs> no, dude, it's, it's frustrating. I'll pull it up on Google and you'll be like, it's like, I have the ability to watch it, like, four things, but then it'll be like, you need the premium edition of what you have. Yeah, like Amazon Prime. And... Amazon and Hulu, and it's like, and Hulu, but yeah, I have Hulu Amazon Prime. But like, you if, you see if, have... it, if you see it, like, it's on Netflix or Disney+, Plus, you know, yeah. it's, it's a bam. It's like, yes, I can watch that, right? But. Yeah. Like, Hulu premium subscription. It's like, dude, fuck you. <laughs> Box. <sighs> It's it's frustrating, man. But at least Amazon, though, man. Like sometimes Amazon will have movies on there, but you get to watch them with ads and stuff. And at least at least it'll be on there, you know. Yeah, that and like uh, who else does it? Pluto was it Pluto TV? I think does that too. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think that's what I was watching. The Tremors movies on was Pluto. Yeah, because that's how I watched Burn. I watched it with ads because that was the only way I could watch it. it was with on Amazon, and I watched it with ads. Bert. <clears throat> <laughs> fucking Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Dude, Reynolds. I forgot the N. I forgot the N and Burnt. So I looked up Burt and just fucking got Burt Reynolds staring well, me down. Old, <laughs> of course, he's going to go right to Burt Reynolds, man. He's like the greatest the actor. Pluto ever. TV. What did I say? Yeah. Voodoo, it's free on too. Voodoo, yeah, there you go. I like watch yeah, Amazon Prime, it's on too. Yeah. No, Burnt is good. I like. Plays that drunk asshole, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, the acting in that was really good too. There's some good actors in it that. Um, yeah, I, yeah. What's his name? Is like the manager or something of the shop? Yeah, he's not the in Daniel a ton of, Brule, yeah, he's, or whatever. I can't. He finally, he finally kind of got his recognition with obviously with being in the MCU, but he's yeah, yeah. really good in a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's he's been in a bunch of things, man. So, but yeah, he's another one I can't butcher his last name so I feel so bad but yeah he's another good actor and then <clears throat> like Uma Thurman was in that like really quick and stuff but but everybody else that was in that movie was really good so Daniel Brühl Brühl yeah fuck that <laughs> yeah it's like, like when you listen to Brühl? it it's like Daniel Brühl 
Brewer. Daniel Brühl. I don't know. I don't Brewer. know. It's Spanish, too. Yeah, it's... I don't know how to say it. I'm horrible with that names. Yeah. No, I I like I like that guy. I like yeah, he's him. Good dude. I like him in the stuff he's in. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's in Zookeeper's wife. He also plays Niki Lauda in Rush. Mm -hmm. You ever seen Rush? Uh, I just little bits and pieces of it and stuff. I've never sat and watched the whole movie. That's a good. That's a good film. Yeah. That's how I learned. That's was kind of my introduction to F one. Yeah. Kind of the start, at least. I heard it was good. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So. Yeah, I mean, fucking him and Chris Hemsworth. I mean, they play the. The parts are amazing too. Like they're perfect too. Him playing Nikki is awesome, and Chris playing um, James Hunt. I mean, they both definitely embodied mm. their uh, the people. I think pretty well. Yeah, I have to. I have to sit down and watch that. Is that on anything? It's Netflix, right? Probably, probably not. No, in our luck, but you know. That's how it goes, right? You want to watch something? <gasps> Better watch it now. Nah, you probably not. Watch now, cancel it. You know, it's 12, 10 years old. They'll probably still try to cancel it. Oh yeah, no, it'll it'll go. Out. I mean, it's kind of the thing, right? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, man. I watched. I I'm, out of, I'm out of stuff. What else you got? Um. There's a couple films, two two animated films on uh, HBO. The, they got the Mortal Kombat ones. Uh, I think. Let me look it up. They got uh, Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge, and then Mortal Kombat mm. Legends: Battle of the Realms. I just watched both of those. I think yesterday, <laughs> watching back to back because I mean they coincide. And that was actually pretty awesome. I like those Good. films. Yeah. <clears throat> I think they, you know, they got that cool, like, like the cool, you know, the, the things that make, you know, what Mortal Kombat was, you know, as a video game, you know, they put in very nice, very well, I think, into it. And this, you know, kept true to the story for the most part. It was, I mean, they're good. Good. Yeah, I'll have to look them up. You yeah. cool. Some some pretty interesting fatalities. <laughs> uh, uh, get away with a little bit more. What's up? Get away with a little bit more on the uh, animated front, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's to be able to put in the work that you would need to. For a Mortal Kombat film. And I'm not, you know, that other, that Mortal Kombat film that you finally watched earlier um, is great and everything. But to take it to that next step, it would cost so much money. And yeah. it's, it wouldn't, I don't think it'd be, I don't think it'd, um, you'd be able to get it to enough, a big enough audience for it to be worth it financially, yeah. right? So, yeah, you'd have that's to what's so, right. it'd have yeah. to be really weird. Because this last one took a whole, it was really cheese, right? It was really cheese route, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed the yeah. cheese they, factor. They, and, you know, and great. that's what Mortal Kombat is. It's those cheesy yeah. deaths, you know, the, you know, ripping, you know, the skull and spine out, out, out a guy's top, you know, yeah. when you rip his head yeah. off or something, you know. <laughs> and then having a guy pop on a screen, whoopsie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Doing all this crazy stuff in that game, dude. It's just, it's not. Fatality. Yeah, yeah, it's. Well, dude, the one had like the baby talities and stuff that one year or whatever. There was like a bunch of weird baby crap, dude. It was nuts, man. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was Mortal Kombat 3. I can't remember. Holy heck, dude. We're an hour and ten minutes. Who the hell is going to watch this shit? Okay. <laughs> I will. You're going to watch it? You're going to watch it back? Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it back. You can see my desktop, the Stone Crane Show. Cause... There you go. That's it. Hit the outro. 
Yeah. <laughs>